Okay, so today we are going to build a resilient and scalable VPC and it would be a three tier architecture and it will be totally we will totally build it via Terraform. So this is the architecture. Let me show you. So as you can see, we have the VP we have a region, US East one region. In there we have a VPC and we have two availability zones availability zone 1 and AZ2 and in each of them we have three subnets one is a public sub one is public subnets and the other two are private subnets so in the public subnet we have NAT gateway and in the private subnet we have we are we will be having compute ec2 instance and the database so we will also be creating a uh, internet gateway and the net gateways so let me show you the terraform manifest files So let's us start off with the providers. So HashiCorp AWS provider and we are taking our region to US East 1. These are the variables. The AWS region is US East 1. Environment, we are setting environment to development. For our use case, we will be having a business development, business division as DevOps. Moving forward, we will also be taking some local values in Terraform. Just simple, everything is uh, via var variable files. So this is the main Terraform VPC file. So we will be giving it, it a name, local.name and var.vpc name. Further, we will be providing a CIDA block let me show you what we are taking it what values we are taking see as you can see we will be having a CIDR block of 10.16.0.0 slash 16 so we will be taking the availability zones this is the availability zones US is 1A and 1B for the public subnets uh, we are given the public subnets IDs and for the private subnets this is a private subnet IDs the CIDR blocks okay for the database subnet the database subnet this is a database subnet CIDR block for both the AZs let us go forward so we will be enabling NAT gateways and we will be having one uh, only a single NAT gateway. Further, we will be having some tags here. Okay, so let me show you also the variable files and the output file. Let me have the output file here so we can do it side by side. Okay so in the vp in the variable file there's a vpc name side up vpc side up block vpc availability zone vpc public subnets vpc private subnets database subnets and create database subnet group create database subnet route table enable NAT gateway and single NAT gateway and for the output file uh, output values will be a vpc id vpc side up block private subnets public subnets and also the NAT public IPs okay so lastly these are some generics generic variables AWS VPC region environment development business division DevOps okay so let us start let me bring my terminal now okay we are 
outside cd terraform manifest so we'll be going forward in the terraform commands terraform init this font terraform init let us wait okay so it has been initialized let us now validate terraform validate okay the configuration is valid let us move forward terraform plan so it has given us a very long plan uh, here all the resources that will be created are defined here and in total there are 22 in total there are 22 resources that it will add so let us move forward and do a terraform plan here terraform apply here it will ask us for our to enter a value we will enter yes now let us wait till all the resources are created in the AWS okay so the terraform apply is complete all 22 resources are added these are the outputs that it has given us the AZs NAT public IP the private subnets and the public subnets these are the IDs of the private and public subnets the VPC CIDR VPC CIDR block and the VPC ID now let us go to our AWS console so let us go to VPC so in the VPC we can see that in VPC we are seeing two VPCs one is the default and the other one is that we what we created just now through terraform so this is the VPC ID we click it so this is the IPv4 that we provided it 10.16.0.0.6/16 and as you can see in the resource map this is a new feature in AWS VPC uh, as you can see we have six uh, subnets three subnets in US East 1A and three subnets in US East 1B so let me show you that uh, as you can see DevOps uh, this is the VPC public subnet in US East 1A this is the e private subnet in US East 1A and this is the database subnet also the private subnet this is in US 1B the public subnet this is a this is the DB subnet and this is the private subnet let me use a scroll bar here okay now as you can see as I hover over it it is showing me the route tables that it is uh, linked to and that route table is further linked to this network connection and this network connection is then attached to this route table and this route table is attached to these subnets these public subnets okay so we have seen this let's uh, let us go to the subnets okay these are the six subnets that we created three in each of the az's US 1 East 1A, 1A and 1A, 1B, 1B and 1B. Public subnet, private subnet and DB subnets. Okay, then going forward to the route tables. So these are the three of three route tables attached to two subnets each for one for public, private and DB subnet. Going to the internet gateway. So this is the internet gateway that we attached 
also let me show you the NAT gateway so we did uh, we only uh, created a single NAT gateway okay so now this is good this part has been completed let me just delete what I have created uh, what we will do is terraform apply dash destroy dash auto dash approve in our terminal so that is pretty much it thank you